now today we will discuss in the styles of modeling first is the gate level modeling we have already discussed second one is the behavior model modeling styles and third one is the gate level modeling styles now today we will discuss in the behavior modeling styles that means this is the to explain the significance of structural procedures always and initial statements blocking and non blocking statements it describes the event that is the timing control mechanisms in the behavior modelings these modelings it is used in the if and else statements that is the multi way branchings of the behavior modelings now the these behavior modelings it is the sequential statements that is executes in the the main two parts that is the always statements or it is the always blocks and the initial blocks that is the always block is the continuous loops that is the never terminations processes and initial blocks that executes the once at the beginning of simulations that is the test bench waveforms then these modules it is the any number of always blocks all of which execute is the currently execute programs that is the currently in the form of execution processes then the always and initial conditions that means there are two main procedure statements in the verilog parts it is a always and initial conditions then this is the first one is the always conditions it is the all behavioral statements that is inside the always statements in the always blocks for example it is the continuous in looping fashions that is the clock generator module that is the toggles of clock signals it is the every half cycles now this is the programs for the always block statement it is the begin there is a statements it is in the sequential statements that is execute here and the end that is always statements which starts from time 0 and execute the statements clock is equal to not clock every 10 times units if there is no stop or finish statements to half the simulations the clock generator will be run forever this condition the always statements it is the initial initialization of clock pulses has to be done in the inside separate initial statements this is the execute programs for the initial statements that is the register variables can be assigned within the always blocks now second one is the initial statements the initial statements is inside the initial statements it constitute the initial blocks and initial block it starts at time 0 executes exactly once during a simulation and does not execute again this processes from the simulation points for example we have to write the programs it is the initial initialization processes that is a single statements that is the only initial begin starts that is a multi multiple statements that means then we have to write the multi line statements then end programs or end modules these initial blocks are typically used for initialization monitoring waveforms and other processes that must be executed only once during the center of simulation processes then these sequential processes are in, in the main form of programmings it is a begin sequential statements end there are the many conditions of applied in the sequential parts that is the that is the loops conditions first is the begin 
statements second one is the if that is we have to apply the conditions third is the case forever loops a repeat that means these conditions if we have to repeat step by step while conditions for There is the sequential statements in the Verilog programs. Now we have to write the combinational for or any programs for looping processes. That is the modules in the multiplexers two as to one. That is the two inputs, one select lines, and the only one outputs. That is module multiplexer marks two one input select here input one comma input zero. comma s is the select line and f is the output now it is declared in the input output port that is input port is the input in 1 comma in 0 comma s semicolon output f semicolon then register f c always at the rate in 1 or in 0 or s if s f is equal to in one semicolon else f is equal to in zero otherwise in module that means f is equal to zero the condition is applied here check this conditions or else output is declared here f is equal to in zero then otherwise the end modules this is the simple program for multiplexer 2 as to 1 then second one is the differential gate differential gate that is the clock plus in d flip flops are used here that is the d flip flop that is the d we have to apply the clock pulse then output is a q or q bar then first we declare the input output port input is a d or clocks semicolon output is a q or q bar register q q bar always at the rate n H clock begin Q is equal to D or Q bar is equal to negation of D semicolon end end modules. This is the flip flop program for sequential logic circuits. Then another sequential for example, it is right here. then 4 bit alu that means input output declares register declares we have to use parameter addition subtraction multiplication and divisions then always statements at the rate a or b or op that means the operations case statements first condition addition f is equal uh, f is equal to a plus d semicolon subtraction f is equal to a minus b semicolon multiplication m u l is equal to f is equal to a into b division f a is equal to a divided by b semicolon then end case or end module this is the basic programming for 4 bit alu that means the arithmetic logical operations we have to apply these conditions are right here now next part in the behavior modeling is the it is very important part of the blocking and non blocking statements the blocking and non blocking assignments or the statements it is a sequential forms of that is the sequential forms within the procedural blocks it is main depends on the always and initial conditions there are the main two types of the assignments that is the blocking assignments or the non blocking assignments the blocking assignments it is used only equal operator and uh, non blocking assignments it is only used in the less than equal to operators then this blocking assignments using the equal to operations that means it is statements are executed in order they are specified in the sequential blocks these blocking assignments will not block execution of statements that follow in the parallel blocks the blocking assignments or the statements are executed in the order they are specified in the sequential blocks that flow follow in the parallel blocks 
parallel and sequential blocks are discussed in the form of blocking statements then it is used in the most commonly for the target of assignments it is updated from the next sequential statement to the procedural blocks it is executed these statements are using the blocking assignments block is execute of the statements that is it is the gets completed and the it is remind the style of modeling it is a combinational logic are used in the blocking assignments now second one is the non blocking assignments the non blocking assignments it is the non less than equal to it is the without blocking executions of statements that is followed by the s sequential blocks these sequential blocks that is the a is less than equal to operator is used to the specify non blocking assignments these operators has the some symbols symbols as relational operators are used in the non blocking assignments the non blocking assignments it is allow from the scheduling of assignments without blocking executions of the statements that follow in the sequential blocks that is the a is less than equal to operator is used in the non blocking assignments then these assignments it is the targeted get schedules for the end of simulation cycles it is normally occurs in the end of sequential blocks these statements it is a subsequence of the instructions that is under considerations are non blocked by the assignments that is the recommended style for the modeling sequentials logic informations it is can be used in the assign several register types variables it is the synchronously under this control of the common clocks of the non blocking assignments then some rules are follow in the blocking assignments and the non blocking assignments the blocking and non blocking assignments it is the main part of value is equal to value plus 1 and value is less than equal to in it that means the first is the blocking assignments and second one is the non blocking assignments this is the example for non blocking and blocking assignments it is the up down counter it is also called as the synchronous counter this counter it is a module counter in bracket mode clear ld d in clock or count input mode are declared here the clear ld clock that is the input ports output is the count always statements at the rest post age clock if ld count is less than equal to d in semicolon else if clear count is less than is equal to 0 semicolon else if in bracket mode count is less than equal to count plus 1 semicolon else then count is less than equal to count plus 1 semicolon or end module this is the program for blocking assignments and the non blocking assignments of are used both steps then some other examples of the n bit counter are used here then next is the ring counter for examples of the blocking non blocking assignments then next part is the state loop statements these loop statements are the main parts of the four types while loop for loop forever loop or repeat loop there is a many supports for the loop is synthesized these loops it must be evaluated to a constant values and the it is implemented by the loop and the replicating statements of the verilog synthesizer then modeling memory it is used in the synthesized tools are usually there is the not efficient in the synthesizing memory this is the model as components it is implementing memory of the two dimensionals a register like the execution on the inefficiency of the programs then modeling in the tri state gates about here the modeling in the tri state gates it is the module bus driver there are the two types of the modeling tri state gates this input declaration output declarations 
used in the always statements at the rate enable or in if enable out is equal to in else out is equal to 8 bit that is the end module then this is the example for the tri state gates now next is the modeling finite state machines there are the two types of finite state machines it is the mori machines and the mili machines there are the two size tent mori and mili they is combined to the one machine that is called as the modeling finite state machines this machines it is used in the first mori machines that is the ns logics flip flop and the output logics there are the main two parts are used mori is explained that the the ns logic gates or the uh, flip flop is output is feedback to the ns logics and mili machines is explained to that the it is also explained in the extra flip flop output is feedback to the ns logics and the main input is applied to the directly output state of the output logic gates it is a extra mili machines are discussed in the log diagrams then these mori machines it is the example for traffic light control the traffic light controls are the main three lights red green and yellow that is red means it is we have to apply the signals it is the 10 seconds or 20 seconds we have to select this uh, signals that is the clocks then this appropriate frequency of the clocks it is depends on the delay times it is used here then this diagram uh, this delays that is the first we uh, signal stop or the red light is uh, mention that is the 10 second is delay now green then on uh, repeat 10 seconds delay and the yellow lights that means we have to write a program for traffic light controller in the verilog programs then first we route write down the modules of traffic light signals it is the main parts of the traffic light signal it is the we have to apply a clock and the display on a light there are the three lights it is the red green and yellow that is the module traffic light in bracket clock comma light semicolon then input is declared here the only clock output is the main two three three lights that is the 0 to 2 that means 0 1 2 that is the lights then parameter we have to select this as 0 is equal to 0 s1 is equal to 1 and s2 is equal to 3 2 that means this parameter it is considered to as s0 that means red is equal to 3b 1 0 green is equal to 3b b0 1 0 and l is equal to 3b 0001 that means the three ray, three lines or the three lights is declared here the main parts of program is <coughs> then <coughs> registers is declared here first condition zero as to one states always statements are used here then case state s0 begin the program light is less than is equal to yellow first we uh, delay the lines or the yellow line is declared then state is less than is equal to s1 s1 is declared here the green light then end second step s1 begin light is less than equal to green then s1 means the green li yellow lights state is less than is equal to s2 and end programs s2 that is the green light begin light is less than is equal to red state is less than is equal to s0 end there is a three state are required in the s0 s1 and s2 then end otherwise default statements we have to uh, write here this in this programming that is default statements begin light is less than equal to red otherwise state this right in a red light indicates that state is less than is equal to s0 end end case and end module this is the programming for traffic light in verilog codes this is the most important parts of the traffic light controllers then 
नेक्स्ट वन इज द कमेंट्स ऑफ द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द फ्लिप फ्लॉप्स देर आर द मेन टू पार्ट्स ऑफ द फ्लिप फ्लॉप दैट इज द ट्रू और फॉल्स दैट इज द टू ऑफ स्टेट्स थ्री ऑफ लाइट्स दैट इज यूज द लैच आउटपुट लाइट इज सेपरेटली यूज इन द ब्लॉकिंग असाइनमेंट्स ऑफ द प्रोग्रामिंग्स नाउ वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द ट्रैफिक लाइट प्रोग्राम इट इज अल्स डिक्लेयर्ड हियर अल्सो देन नेक्स्ट इज द मोरी मशीन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल सेकंड्स दिस इज द सीरियल पैरिटी डिटेक्टर द सीरियल पैरिटी डिटेक्टर्स इट इज द टू इनपुट्स एक्स एंड क्लॉक्स जेड इज द आउटपुट इन एनी वे लाइक एज द फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्टेट दे नेक्स्ट इज द मल्टीपल मॉड्यूल्स दिस इज द ओनली वी डिस्कस इन द पैरिटी चेकर एडर एंड द कॉम्प्लीमेंटर्स देन मेक्स वेरी इंपॉर्टंट पार्ट ऑफ द वेरी लॉक प्रोग्रामिंग दिस इज द वेरी लॉक टेस्ट बेंच द वेरी लॉक टेस्ट बेंच इट इज द वी हैव टू ब्लॉक डायग्राम इनपुट आउटपुट पोर्ट दिस इज द मेन पार्ट ऑफ द वेरी लॉक टेस्ट बेंच देन वॉट इज द टेस्ट बेंच इट इज द वेरी लॉक प्रोसिजरल ब्लॉक इट इज एक्जीक्यूट ओनली वंस वी हैव टू ओनली एक्जीक्यूट इट इज यूज इन द सिम्युलेशन प्रोसेसेस एंड द टेस्ट बेंच फॉर्म्स इट इज जनरेट फॉर द क्लॉक रिसेड and the required factors that is the input outputs ports suppose we have to example this is the for example state bench test bench web forms module under test this is the stimulations and the compare logic for the test bench web forms this is the test bench web form for exam test bench test bench we have forms for the main parts of the how it is rise to test bench 